This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so my mic's going to be a little messed up on this one because I'm doing it on my phone. But I'm going to tell you this, man. I thought this was Little Wop. I thought this was Little Wop, but it is Little Pump. Little Pump is going Little Wop route. Thinks he's a little school girl, okay? Put that makeup on, trying to look like like a woman. Little spooky, my G. Are you that desperate? Are you that desperate to get some likes, my G? Little pump is finito because he just he's doing whatever it takes to try to generate people talking about him. And you know what? I haven't heard a song of his in years. Nothing. Anyways, we'll see what's up when. We got Megan Tory. The driver goes to court today for some reason. Lawyers for Workers reported it, and we'll play a little blurb from him in a second. But I guess this guy had a statement to make. But at the time of the case, nobody heard his statement. Nobody heard him take the stand. Nothing. Because and it, he, he said reasonable doubt, and he ain't lying. It is reasonable doubt. The whole Meg thing is is weird. This is such a sloppy case. From Kelsey to the people who said they saw things that were, you know, some of them were intoxicated at the time. The driver not completely speaking out. Um, The whole thing is just like an injustice because I don't think Tory was all to blame by himself, okay? I feel like everybody in that car shared the blame of what happened that night and that's how it should go it should go as you're sharing the blame not uh, tory does 10 years for everyone everybody's mistakes that night i was in court and tory's driver hit the hallway and the whole courtroom is a buzz like uh uh-oh the driver's here and and i thought to myself just as soon come you know because it was not a good case for the defense you had girl take the stand point at the boy and that was like a real problem an eyewitness victim celebrity america's sweetheart that guy shot me oh my god but there was reasonable doubt all over the place we had the eyewitness the white guy with the irish accent saying oh they were all fighting each other beating each other up and his testimony didn't make any sense but there's kwan there's the driver he was sober it was probably his gun he's gonna tell it and then the decision was made that oh we're the judge said that hey you know we're gonna do that and then the ask the lawyers and the lawyers say hey, yeah we're gonna go we don't need kwan he's not gonna testify let's keep going and i thought to myself what <laughs> you're not gonna let kwan he's not gonna testify I mean, we got reasonable doubt here, people, but we need to, like, put it on the stand. <laughs> um, and now you see what he would have said. <laughs> we will address. I was in court, and Tory's driver hit the hallway, and the whole courtroom is a buzz. like, uh-oh, the driver's here. And, and I thought to myself, just as soon come. You know, because it was not a good case for the defense. You had girl take the stand, point at the boy, and that was like a real problem. An eyewitness, victim, celebrity, America's sweetheart. That guy shot me. Oh, my God. But there was reasonable doubt all over the place. We had the eyewitness, the white guy with the Irish accent saying, oh, they were all fighting each other, beating each other up. And his testimony didn't make any sense, but there's Quan, there's the driver. He was sober. It was probably his gun. He's gonna tell it. And then the decision was made that, oh, we're, the judge said that, hey, you know, we're gonna do that. And then the, ask the lawyers and the lawyers say, hey, well, yeah, we're gonna go, we don't need Quan. He's not gonna testify. Let's keep going. And I thought to myself, what? <laughs> You're not gonna let Quan, he's not gonna testify? I mean, we got reasonable doubt here, people, but we need to, like, put it on the stand. (laughs) Um, And now you see what he would have (laughs) said. We will address. You know, big shout out to lawyers and worker lawyers for workers and make sure you go follow his Instagram. Uh, He's kept us up to date on a lot of cases and given his perspective as a lawyer. I appreciate that. And, you know. 
he's blown away by this case and I am too. I mean, you know, and he's a lawyer and he's blown away. So that means a lot, you know, it's, I'm just happy that he's, you know, people call him cloud chaser and all that, but really he's just has an interest in this stuff and he's really giving clarity on it. So there's no uh, discrepancies. I, I truly appreciate that. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next